What's up guys and welcome to a brand new Five Nights at Freddy's update video. Now this is going to be a big one. We have some exciting news regarding the FNAF movie. As you guys know, it's been in the works and it's been getting filmed over the past few weeks and we haven't really seen a ton from it, but we just got some big info and we're going through all of it in today's video. Before we get into this, be sure to subscribe right now if you're a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's and you have not done so already. You guys already know this is your place to be for all types of FNAF content and just horror in general, so be sure to get subscribed. But let's go ahead and start breaking down the new news. So we've got a lot to go through and the final thing we're going to actually see in today's video is going to be insane it's actually our first look at the movie it has freddy fazbear in it it's got a little girl in it and the actual pizzeria so be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video and watch that part because it's it's crazy so let's go ahead and start at the beginning though and by the way massive shout out to johnny block on twitter and youtube he's a great source for fnaf news and uh, i'm gonna be getting most of my info from his twitter so i'm having him linked in the description down below be sure to check him out but let's go ahead and start with the first bit of news okay so as you guys know the fnaf movie has been getting filmed over the past few weeks and it officially ended filming april 3rd 2023 so it's included it now it's going to go into post-production and of course they're going to start working on the actual movie the cgi and all that kind of crazy stuff and that's what's going to take them you know quite a bit of time i think the filming only lasted about two to three weeks so they really got it all done fast and now they're working on all the extra stuff and and, and stuff along those lines now let's go ahead and get into some of the more exciting stuff so keep in mind though this is going to have some spoilers in it so if you don't want to be spoiled for the movie please you know click off of this part of the video or maybe skip around and you know skip past some of the spoilery stuff but let's go ahead and get into that stuff so Erin McCluskey has joined the cast of Five Nights at Freddy's as an 80s newscast. So she's announced to be an 80s newscaster. Now, obviously, we know a lot of bad and creepy, horrifying things are going to be happening at the pizzeria, and she's going to be the one that pops up on the TVs. It's like, hey, another murder has happened at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, or, you know, just something along those lines. And uh, she's going to be kind of reporting the news, obviously, newscaster. So that's very exciting. We get a little hint as, you know, as to what's going to be going on in the movie. So there's going to be, a, a, you know, a news station that's going to be reporting, obviously, news, duh. <laughs> Now, some of the other stuff that we have on here is uh, apparently Adam Han Beard, I hope I'm saying that right, has been cast as a voice and motion capture for Freddy Fazbear. So that's exciting. Along with Stacy DePass as the voice and motion, cap motion capture for Chica. So these are going to be the people playing the animatronics or, you know, doing the motion capture at least. I think the animatronics themselves are going to be obviously CGI because, you know, they want them to look like animatronics and move like animatronics. I don't think there's going to be people in the suits, but I could be completely wrong. But yeah, it seems like um, these are going to be the people that like i think they like put on like for video games and stuff like that you know like in god of war how they put on these like little beads or little uh circles on people and then they kind of like cast their body that way and it, it turns into them in like a game form <laughs> i don't know if that makes any sense but that's i think that's what they're going to be doing and so they're going to be actually playing as you know freddie and chico which is very cool now john sanford moore and jane wheeler and ted atherton have been cast as bonnie and these are the, where the spoilers come up the puppet and Golden Freddy. So obviously Bonnie had to show up eventually. I still don't see my boy Foxy on there. What's going on here? He might be coming up later on. I don't know. Um, but the puppet and Golden Freddy. So that's very exciting news. I mean, I kind of assumed if they're doing FNAF 1, Golden Freddy's got to show up. But the puppet's there too. That's exciting. I'm very much looking forward to this. I, 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 I'm looking forward to it mostly because we finally are going to get a, a storyline for the games <laughs> like everyone's been making theories everyone can kind of like think what's going to happen but finally we're going to have something that's like this is what's happening you don't need to watch a bunch of theories to figure it out yet yet we're going to tell you right here so at least that's what i'm hoping for so very exciting stuff now it was also confirmed that the, the five nights phrase movie release date is october 27th 2023 how crazy is that that's insane like i I was thinking next year. Next year, October, makes sense. They have plenty of time to work on the movie. It's coming this year. That is in like 200 something days. I'm sure you guys let me know in the comment section, but like, what? This year? Like, are you kidding me? That's insane. That's actually insane that, you know, this October, I'm gonna be sitting down and watching the FNAF movie. I don't know if I can watch it with you guys. I, I know it's gonna be streamed on Peacock. So yeah, I don't know, maybe I can do like, uh, I can ask Scott and like maybe show like, maybe do a watch along, but only like show certain parts of the movie and like make it into a video. And like, you know, we get to like watch it together or something like that. I don't know. I could ask Scott and we can see, maybe I can do something, but we'll have to wait and see. But still, regardless, uh, th that's so exciting. October 27th, that's crazy. Um, on the same note though, uh, description and teaser image were released, which obviously I'm gonna show at the end of the video. It's, it's crazy, but it's very exciting. So 
the last little bit of info here before we get into the teaser image, uh, Matthew Lillard, who has been obviously cast as William Afton, if you guys didn't know, which, I mean, what, you've been living under a rock? Um, he actually made a post on Instagram, and he said the, the signature quote, all right? I mean, we knew it was coming. He made this picture right here. He posted it. said, I always come back. Hashtag FNAF. Hashtag William Afton. Hashtag purple. Hashtag finish strong. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> This is just cool to see. I'm so excited to see how he plays the role because honestly, it's kind of hard for me to picture it. But like, then again, I don't really know what to picture in a way. So like, I'm excited to just see a trailer for this thing, which I mean, now that's coming out in October, I imagine a trailer will be coming up, you know, what, three to five months from now. I mean, you would think, I mean, then again, yeah, because April, May, June, maybe like July or August, we get a trailer, probably like August. And then, you know, October, obviously you have three months until the release of the movie, but I'm excited to see how he's going to play the role and, uh, you know, what he's actually going to look like in the role. It, it's going to be very cool. Now, the last bit of news here, which is very exciting. Um, as you guys know, Security Breach TV was a thing, right? Last year, or I think 2021, that's where they would post different, and this isn't movie related, by the way, but Security Breach TV was a place where they would post, you know, the little um, cartoons that we used to watch. Before Security Breach came out, uh, Steel would post them and they, they would like give us little hints at like the storyline for the game and they'd glitch out occasionally and show like crazy things. Like that's where we first saw DJ Music Man like the big version of him, his leg and stuff like that, and a few other crazy secrets. Well, apparently, Security Breach TV, the website, accidentally got updated. <laughs> so, a cam station teaser was accidentally released on there by Steel Wool, and uh, it was there. It showed it showed a few different release dates. One of them being tomorrow, April sixth, and April thirteenth. And I think there was a few other release dates too. But as soon as it was up, everyone saw it, and then all of a sudden, it got taken down. So obviously, it wasn't supposed to be posted yet. It got you know shown for a second, then boom, it was gone. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna be getting something tomorrow. It's a very exciting time. It feels like FNAF news it just goes away for for a long time, right? And then all of a sudden, it's just boom. Here's here's all the FNAF news that you've been wanting it just throws it all at you so tomorrow's gonna be a big day i think we're gonna get you know an update on this website and we're gonna get our first look at the ruin dlc which is very exciting now let's go and get into the most important part of this video i mean there's a lot of important stuff but let's go ahead and get into the crazy thing which is the fnaf movie teaser so blumhouse blumhouse's instagram actually posted it and they said the following i'm gonna go and show this, the picture on screen right now too universal pictures released blumhouse's five nights at freddy's on Friday, October 27th, 2023, worldwide. This film will also premiere day and day with theatrical on Peacock. So, very exciting. So, I think Peacock is like a, a movie streaming service, I'm pretty sure. So, you can either watch it in theaters or on Peacock, I'm assuming. So, that's super exciting. It says also premiere day and day, which I, I think it means like same day. I, I don't know. But regardless, look at this picture. Okay. It, it looks cool. It looks very cool. A, a few images actually got leaked of this. And, um, you know, obviously I don't like covering leaks on the channel uh, if it's like something big. So that's why I kind of avoided that kind of stuff. But this right here looks awesome. It's Freddy Fazbear, which I'm assuming there's somebody in that suit because I don't know. I mean, I, I don't I don't see how they have like an animatronic that can like walk up there like that. That'd be kind of crazy. They're gonna end up, you know, accidentally creating <laughs> the actual Freddy Fazbear pizza murderers or murders or something like that. But regardless, it's uh, Freddy Fazbear up there. He is missing his left ear for some reason. Any uh, theorists out there wanna comment your theories on why that is? Um, and he's just kind of standing there and he's he's holding a little girl's hand. So pretty cool. I mean, it's obviously they're uh, they're returning to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and it looks very law or old and forgotten. And for some reason, they're going back inside. But yeah, the, the sign for the pizzeria looks awesome. It, it looks incredible. I've seen this thing in person and it is massive. Or I haven't seen it in person, but Daco's shown me it in person and it's gigantic. <laughs> like that thing is huge. I, I would love to be able to like purchase that thing. I don't know where I'd put it, but I'd, I'd literally, you'd be able to tell what house is mine because there'd just be a giant Freddy Fazer's Pizza's logo smacked on the front of it. But yeah, it, it's it's cool, man. I, I'm very excited. I can't believe it's finally happening too because I think the, the movie originally got announced in, I want to say 2017 was when Scott like posted that like picture of a, a director's chair with his name on it and like a TV or a, a, a big theater screen in the background. So it's been a long time in the, in the making and... Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, whatever we end up getting is just going to end up being a fun experience, regardless of it, if it ends up being, you know, bad or, you know, people, all the critics rate it like a, a three out of 10 or a two out of 10. As long as it's something that it's like for the fans and the fans are going to watch this and be like, yeah, I like that. I think that's all that matters. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to this. By the way, you can't see a, a camera right there on the left side of uh, Freddy. So, you know, the night guard can obviously see who's, who, see who's out the front right there. 
And I'm wondering, you know, what's going on in this scene? It's one of those things where we're going to look back on it when the movie's out and we're going to be able to be like, oh, that's what we saw in the teaser. <laughs> that's what we saw. All right. Well, guys, I'm in this video here, though. That was some FNAF movie news. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to subscribe right now if you're new. Leave, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.